Hello everyone, back to you into this evening's video, we're doing the 8th Christmas update this evening, have a look at the uh, charts from the CFSB2 model at Micho Seal, uh, see what it's showing for the Christmas period going on into the new year. Now I've done uh, 7 updates before this, well you can see this year all of the updates uh, are on the events page, which so you just want to scroll down and go down to the first and then go through, you'll be able to see how the storyline has evolved as we've gone along, when we get to the end it could actually be quite interesting uh, by the time you get to Christmas to look back and see how things have progressed as we've gone through whether the model was broadly right and at what time frame it picked up on the uh, trend. The trend actually, actually through the previous seven updates have been to have a very buoyant Atlantic really. Uh, we haven't had hardly any cold, uh, really cold runs. We have had sort of interest with some of the updates that have been blocking around chances of cold snaps and uh, brief sort of northerly easy injuries but we haven't really had anything tremendously definitive in terms of blocking. We haven't had one of those mega runs where you get uh, lots of ECs, lots of blizzards coming through. So we have had a trend uh, for quite a buoyant Atlantic and to keep it relatively uh, mild uh, with the chance of some cold snaps at times. We'll see what the update is showing tonight. Before we go on with that, just want to talk about uh, the ads. There's a video ads it just above uh, the video here on the events page. Hit play on video app. Help me support Gas Office has gone. Thanks very much for doing that. Uh, Gas Shop is open. So if you've got any Christmas shopping, talking to Christmas, if you've got any Christmas shopping to do at Amazon between now and Christmas, just click the Gav Shop button, which is sitting just underneath this video. Go through to Gav Shop, and then from there, the key to it all is to click through the Amazon banners. And because you're going from Gav's website to Amazon, when you finally arrive at Amazon doing Christmas shopping, uh, we will get a percentage fee on the things that you're buying because you've gone through from our website to theirs. Uh, and thanks very much for getting involved and doing that. So uh, we're using uh, the CFS uh, nine monthly forecast from uh, the website meetyourseal.fa. You can find a link to meetyourseal on my links page. If you want to see these charts for yourself? This is a 12 o'clock run generated midday yesterday, the 18th of November. There's a 24 hour delay on these charts coming through. So we're going to start off on the 18th of December, and here we go we're in a flat westerly flow. So it's very much as you were with uh, where we left off with the last update, a strong sort of westerly flow came through quite a strong jet stream areas of low pressure in the Atlantic it would be uh, relatively mild and also very unsettled with strong winds at times and rain or showers coming through quite a point Atlantic being signaled there Going through to the 19th and on into the 20th of uh, December. Well, look at this. We bring a very deep storm through. Uh, very tight packed ties bars there. So that's severe gales. It's not storm force winds blasting across the country around the 19th and 20th of December. Really wet and windy and stormy with that. Now, as I always say with these videos, we can't uh, pinpoint this down to one day and say, for instance, that's exactly how things are going to be looking on the 19th of December. The model can't do that. But what we're looking for is the general sort of setup, the general train, the direction of traffic. And again, as with all the other updates, for the middle of December, it's very westerly. Uh, so it implies there is up the risk, and it may be the 19th, maybe another day around there. Uh, it implies the risk of a storm coming through, bringing severe gales and lots of heavy rain as well. That low pressure clears off to the east as we go through into the 20th on into the 21st of December. We bring a very weak transient ridge through, so dries out a little bit, calms down. Uh, but then look, the next area of low pressure is winding up in the Atlantic. A conveyor belt of low pressures are coming through, uh, or forecast to come through around this time. So that's another system uh, coming in on the run up to Christmas. So as we move through into the 22nd, on into uh, the 23rd of December, another bout of gales comes across the country, severe gales in places as well, heavy rain, but winds westerly, so it's not cold, it could be cold enough for windy showers, perhaps across uh, the high ground of Scotland or right in Northern England, it is a cold scenario, to get a proper cold scenario, you need to get the wind in from the north or from the east, and this is the uh, total opposite of that really, so it's basically a very strong westerly 
have been very strong generally. Very much shades of last year. You remember last year had lots of gales and storms around, uh, starting around middle of December and going right way through to the start of February. Hopefully they, this won't go on as long as that. But it is that sort of pattern that we had uh, this time last year. Now you get to Christmas Eve and uh, we're bringing another system through. This one running close to northwest part of Scotland. So that's bringing another bout of gales. This side probably for Scotland. But a band of heavy rain coming through there on Christmas Eve. So it's a wet and windy, wild sort of Christmas Eve being signalled get through to Christmas Day and uh, we're in sort of a flat west that's bringing in sunshine and showers actually ahead of this next area of low pressure that's winding up in the land so it's sunshine and showers for Christmas Day on this particular run could be calm enough for showers the winds show the high ground in the north but generally uh, they would be falling as rain moving through into Boxing Day uh, and we find that uh, we've got areas of low pressure winding up in the Atlantic but I'll say probably not too bad in itself again it's a showery scenario but we get through in towards uh, the 27th and we bring in another system so that's bringing another batch of rain across the country and this one's just bringing in some slightly colder air uh, from the north so maybe tend to be cooler on this run after Christmas so moving through into the no man's land between uh, Christmas Day and Boxing Day the charts going to click over there we go and eventually the winds go into the north then uh, and it does turn colder so that will be cold enough to bring some wintry showers into the north and the east probably by the 29th of december there could also be some quite hard overnight frost this is very transient but it is a bit colder uh, between christmas and new year uh, it will feel a little bit more seasonable now as we move through into the third shift we're actually in a bit of a northerly flow then by uh, that stage so yeah it is getting colder as we get through towards the new year period there'd be some quite hard overnight frost it could be wintry showers in the northeast high pressure is beginning to ridge in so it's probably settling it down um but it's definitely a cooler uh, scenario after christmas on this particular run uh moving through in towards uh, the rest of new year's eve on in towards new year's day and that high pressure comes over the country so that could be a cold start to 2015 actually under that ridge of high pressure yeah there could be some pretty hard overnight frost probably mainly dry don't think there'll be any snow but uh pretty cold by night temperatures possibly as low as minus five uh, i would suggest on that sort of setup by the time we get through to the end of uh, how far we're going to go out which is second of uh, january the high pressure is still there although it's already beginning to show signs of starting to slip uh low pressures are gathering in the atlantic again and i won't show the chart but very quickly after that uh, between the 7th and 12th night on the 6th we do bring those areas of low pressure back in it turns wet windy and stormy so it's the continuation of the theme really that we've had throughout all of these updates uh, which is a very buoyant Atlantic from the middle of December through to Christmas uh, lots of gales or risk of gales bouts of heavy rain coming through as well after Christmas turns a little bit colder and there's always been this suggestion on many of these updates that there could be little cold snaps coming through maybe two or three days of colder weather in an otherwise unsettled uh, buoyant Atlantic so very much continuation of what we've had in the previous seven updates certainly no signs of the severest depths of winter um, but probably no sign of anything exceptionally mild either just lots of wind and rain and maybe some cold snaps thrown in that's it for now we'll do the uh, ninth update we're getting on with these updates now we'll do the ninth update um, not sure when that will be probably Saturday evening that's it for now thanks for watching